Hey there, it's Melanie from the dev team with a quick update for you regarding workflows. I wanted to let you know that the workflow builder has the if else conditional workflow event. We have made some enhancements so that you can now customize this rather than just having a yes path or a no path. You can have multiple paths, pretty much as many as you'd like. Here in this example, I've just done yes, no, maybe so, and then none, but you can completely customize this if else workflow condition to have as many paths for your workflow as you'd like. So just as a reminder, you would click the plus icon to add a workflow action. You can search for the action in the list um, here in the search bar, or you can scroll down to the if else condition, and then you can add one or multiple branches, customize it and save your changes. And then it will look like this here on the screen with any of the paths that you've created. And then you can click the plus sign here under each path to customize each path of the workflow. Of course, you want to save any changes and then publish the workflow in order for it to run. But I just wanted to make you aware of this enhancement that you can now have multiple paths within the if else conditional workflow event to completely customize your workflow experience. That's all for now and I'll have more updates soon. Thank you.